Hi everyone and welcome to my morning report. Trust is on Thursday the 20th of July with me, which is Market Analyst at Hantech Markets. We've got an interesting session developing. Um, there seems to be a bit of a dollar strength theme just starting to develop. Um, and that comes ahead of the ECB meeting today. Uh, let me just show you the dollar that has just started to pick up uh, a little bit. But if you look at the Treasury yields nothing really doing on the 10 year or the 2 year. It seems as though it's, it's um, other currency weakness that is helping that dollar um, and that comes with the euro lower. Sterling is an interesting one today. Sterling a bit jumping around today. Um, Sterling has it initially fell on the back of um, sort of an interview from uh, Liam Fox who is uh, one of the um, uh, who is, I think is the um, sort of post-Brexit uh, trade negotiator, shall we call him. Um, and um, he uh, was saying about the fact that um, a, a, a sort of a, a no deal would still be okay uh, for the UK. Now, it seemed as though that we'd got through that um, initial um, sort of phase of talking about that um, and uh, the, the market, or, or certainly the, uh, the government had stopped sort of uh, talking about no deal being on the table, um, but suddenly it's back on the table. So sterling was uh, a bit lower, but we just had out the uh, retail sales for the UK and they came in better than expected. Um, retail sales better than expected on the ex-fuel basis, jumping 0.9% uh, for the month and back up to 3% on the year. So uh, that was ahead of expectations and uh, helped to um, pull sterling higher. And uh, it uh, certainly seemed as though um, it's sort of unwinding some of the losses. Where is it? There it is. Unwinding some of the earlier losses. So that's uh, that's a po positive study. However, the dollar is generally stronger across the board. Um, you look through all these forex majors, and it um, it is making gains. Now the Aussie um, is uh, mildly weaker, um, but 0.5 percent, but a strong run higher. Um, and you actually had strong employment data out for the Aussie today, but it seems a bit of a profit taking has been taking hold there. The yen is also is also weaker on the back of the Bank of Japan. Bank of Japan coming out and uh, increasing its inflation, f um, well, extending, I should say, its, in its inflation target um, out to, to, to uh, 2019 for um, when it thinks it might be hitting its 2% target. Subsequently, uh, the yen has weakened on the back of that. But generally speaking, we're seeing a weaker dollar. We're also seeing um, equity markets strength across the board on the European uh, markets um, and that's come as uh, again look at that all-time high on the S&P 500 strong move higher strong earnings um, season seems to be developing and uh, the S&P 500 strongly higher on the back of that <sighs> so main event today we've got the ECB um, at uh, 12.45 you get the rates decision um, which we're not expecting any change on rates um, main refinancing rate um, 0 percent and uh, the deposit rate at 0 0.4 percent negative is the expectation. However, it is the press conference that the markets will be looking out for. Um, Draghi's speech in, at Sintra in uh, Portugal a uh, couple of weeks ago um, sort of set the uh, the markets um, sort of up for tapering in the back end of this year. Um, will uh, the ECB sort of allude to that today. Uh, it's possible, um, but the markets um, have sort of uh, run, the EC, run the euro strongly higher. I think the euro is about 3% higher since that Cincha speech from Draghi. So if they've already priced in a fair bit. Um, can the ECB deliver on this? Now, I'm going to show you a chart here, which I sort of put on Twitter yesterday. Look, this is euro positioning, net euro positioning. Um, it is at uh, levels of uh, not seen since 2011. Uh, in terms of uh, positive long positions on the euro, so it is pretty. The market is pretty long on the euro. That would suggest, and um, it would suggest that if Draghi disappoints, those uh, positions are going to have to be unwound, uh, or they will be unwound, and that could drive a bit of selling pressure through the euro. So watch out for that um, in the press conference today. But uh, inf uh, other than that, there's not. Um, that is the uh, main focus of today. So um, my chart of the day is Euro Swissy. Now Euro Swissy, interesting uh, move on Euro Swissy. Uh, that's the hourly chart. Let's look at the daily chart. In the last few days, we've seen the Euro Swissy rolling over, as uh, the market has come a little bit less um, 
sort of euro positive, um, interestingly, uh, in front of the CCB meeting. And that 109.80 level, I'm going to run this back and show you how this is a big key level. Uh, August 2016, October 2016, it became the base of resistance, and again in May, and we broke out above that, but that now has become the base of support. So it's a neckline support of a double top. Now, if that double top com um, sort of closes below 109.80, that would complete the pattern, um, and certainly that uh, would bring us obviously back below that pivot again, completing the pattern, about 90 ticks of pattern, and that would sort of suggest 109 area, but um, more more to the fact it would suggest rolling over of this trend higher. You look at these momentum indicators, look at that those MACD lines, the stochastics, RSI but sort of a, uh, back below 60. This happened back in May as the market rolled over again and it sort of went through a what was that, five, six weeks worth of correction. So there is the prospect of a possible move and correction on this uh, Euro Swissy. So that I believe is something that we need to keep an eye on through this um, through this uh, Draghi press conference today. Now we've seen a bit of a sort of a, a sort of consolidation in the last couple of days, a bit of a tick higher today, but um, the uh, the overriding sort of um, em emphasis would be again a bit of a break uh, breakdown. Sorry, that's Swissy. Sorry, that is actually the wrong chart. I apologise. Um, you can see this um, little bit of a sort of consolidation in the last um, last few days, uh, sorry, last day or so, as the market sort of uh, prepares for the CCB speech um, by Draghi, the press conference. But you can see the outlook on the uh, configuration on the momentum, more correctively configured uh, on the MACD lines, RSI, sort of failing underneath 50, the moving averages are all falling. It, it sort of adds to the sort of overhead pressure, I think, going on here. And uh, I think that... Um, yeah, I think that there, there is possibility of uh, of a downside move to complete if that uh, top pattern does go to the downside below 109.80. Um, so uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you later. Thank you.